be crazy, especially when you're a mom of a baby and a toddler, and especially when you have to get out the door in the morning on time for something. Hi, I'm Megan, and recently I took my camera around with me in the morning and filmed myself and what I do on a regular day when we have to get out the door. I feel like I have this pretty much down to a science lately because we've been running hither and yon for doctor appointments and social commitments and just errand running and stuff. I don't know, life is not slowing down anytime this fall for us. And so I wanted to share with you the things that I've learned for getting out the door on time with two, two and under. So welcome to my weed patch of a backyard. I'm just gonna sit back here and film because it is so beautiful out and I'm just sick of being inside. I wanna be out here. Today's video is in partnership with Care Of and I will talk more about them later. They're just a vitamin company that's helped me just restore some more health and sanity to my life. You know, mom life is no joke. If you're new to my channel, wow, I'm so happy you found me in this labyrinth of videos on YouTube. I feel like it's really hard right now with that YouTube algorithm and stuff to be found. So with that being said, if you want to subscribe and you're not, make sure you do that. But also if you are subscribed, you gotta hit that little bell. And then, I'm sorry to be so beggy and naggy, but after you hit the bell, you actually have to hit all. Otherwise, my videos are not gonna show up in your feed. <laughs> Just a gentle nudge to do that if you haven't already. Also, this video is a collab with Hannah's Happy Home here on YouTube. Hannah is just a sweet girl about my age. She has two kids as well, but she lives in Arizona. And so I know a lot of you kind of wish I would do more cleaning videos. Well, this girl has got you covered. So you could definitely go check out her channel. Her house is so homey and welcoming and she's just a really sweet and beautiful person inside and out. We have a lot in common. She grew up actually pretty close to where I live here in Lancaster County, Pennsylvania. And she has two kids. We're both about the same age. She's gonna be sharing a morning routine as a work from home home stay-at-home mom and also she homeschools so her video I'm sure is gonna be really interesting especially since they're actually packing right now to move so definitely go check her video out and go ahead and type in her comments that I sent you over there so whether I have to get out the door or not 90% of my mornings start at 630 in the morning get up, put on my robe, and then I sit down at my little office in my bedroom, which at this point is just a chaise lounge, and I cut open my blanket and I reach for my devotions first. I do different things. Sometimes I will use the Our Daily Bread app on my phone, or I will read out of the devotional book or something. Right now I'm using this one here from the Daily Grace Co. Actually, a bunch of my friends are going through this right now. And yeah, it's just really good for me to start my day like this. I'm a Mennonite and a Christian, so it's important to me to remember whose I am and what I'm supposed to be doing in life and just, yeah, it grounds me for the day, I feel. I don't necessarily love rolling out of bed at 6.30 in the morning, but it gives me a whole hour and a half before my kids get up at eight to have time to myself. And then I'll reach for my laptop and work on YouTube stuff for about an hour. Around 7.45, I will get up and get dressed really quickly. It doesn't take me long at all to get dressed because I kind of have a couple outfit ideas in my head usually. I do often just wear a dark skirt and then a shirt and sometimes a cardigan if I'm feeling extra fancy. Um, yeah, it doesn't vary a ton. And then I will go into the bathroom and get ready for the day. I'll put in my contacts, brush my teeth, comb my hair. And then after that, I usually like to put some moisturizer on my face. This morning, I actually used rosehip seed oil, which, yeah, it's a little bit messier, but I find that it does good things for my skin because it's kind of dry. And then I'm just putting on some Lumi Glotion here that, well, it's, it's pretty much a moisturizer, but then it has a little bit of tint to it, so it makes your skin look a little more awake in the morning. So by now, it's 7.45ish, and I'll head downstairs and let out the dog. Then I scrounge around for a little breakfast. I like to keep these oatmeal balls in the fridge. I'm definitely like a loyal egg eater, but not on mornings when I have to get out the door in time. Instead, yeah, I just grab something quick like these oatmeal balls. I think I shared a recipe for these in a different video. I will try to link that down below if you are curious. And then I take my vitamins. So I have been either pregnant or nursing for the past three years. And so I religiously take a prenatal all the time. My doctor said you might as well take them as long as you're, you know, pregnant or nursing and so that I'm, I'm still nursing now. So I take always took a prenatal, but I started realizing that I need to take more my health, my own health more seriously. I feel like moms, we always like kind of put ourselves in the back burner. I have two toddlers or a baby and a toddler that, you know, rely on me to survive basically. So I've been trying to be a little more religious about taking my vitamins and care of 
is where I'm getting my vitamins right now. I really, really like them. I am taking a couple different ones. I'm taking a prenatal, first of all. And then I'm also taking fish oil. Also, I am taking B complex and then calcium for my bones. And the reason I knew what I wanted to take was because when you go on Carol's website, they actually have a quiz that you take and then you just answer all the questions about, you know, your health goals and your lifestyle, things like that. And it tells you what it recommends. And then you can say yes or no to whatever you want. And it's like a little customized formula for yourself. So that was really cool. Comes right in the mail. And they use like the highest, sorry, my hands are feeling dry. They use really high quality ingredients. For example, like my fish oil that I take is actually from salmon in Alaska, which is nuts. <laughs> so yeah, I was excited when they reached out to me to sponsor this video because this is a really good time of year to start thinking about that again. If you have kind of let your health slip a little bit, winter months are coming. You just wanna have your immune system up and at peak performance. It's great for people with busy lifestyles like us moms. So yeah, check it out. No matter what age you are, I think it would work great for you. So if you'd like to start adding more vitamins to your diet, go to takecareof.com. Use my discount code for 25% off. You'll also take the personalized quiz there to see what you need. And yeah, they'll get you all hooked up and send it right to your door. And then I take my vitamins. I can take all my vitamins in one giant swallow. It's kind of my hidden talent. <laughs> Also, all throughout the morning, I try to keep my water intake going. I don't necessarily like make my bed every morning, but I drink a lot of water, so that should count for something, right guys? <laughs> then I'll head upstairs and get my son up first. He's seven months old right now, and I will feed him. I currently only nurse him morning, noon, and night. And I just like to have a little extra snuggly time. Why are babies just so snuggly in the morning? Oh my goodness, anyway. So then I'll go and set him down and let him crawl around while I go get Ivani up. I'd like to have a little one-on-one -on -one time with her right away in the morning. She always asks, what are we gonna do? And I let her know what we're gonna do for the day. Today we were actually going to an orchard, so keep watching if you'd like to see a little footage of that at the very end. Ivani just turned two, and this is her little bed that her dad made for her. I like to climb in here and just tell her about the day, snuggle her a little bit. She's not super cuddly, so I'm trying to like work on her with that a little bit because oh, my big kids are growing up so fast. It's just sad. After that, I take her to the bathroom and then get her dressed. Of course, she's little miss independent and wants to try herself, so sometimes I'll let her help depending on how rushed we really are. And this morning, she was trying to put on her own boots. Her boots are such a fascination to her right now. So after that, I take him and I change and dress him. And that's always accompanied with lots of tackling. Good grief. <laughs> wow, he is very strong and it's hard to hold him down on the table. Let me know any tips that you have for getting a seven month old to lay still. I should probably just hand him a toy that would probably work the best. And after that, we go downstairs again. And here, Ivani wanted to try to help Fletcher. So I let her try, hey, you know, it keeps him out of trouble, right? <laughs> And while they were doing that, I was busy getting the diaper bag together. I try to get as much in the diaper bag as possible the night before, but I still like to have everything laid out before I put it in to make sure I got it all. And I'll let you know what I put in my diaper bag right now. So before I leave, I put a jacket for each kid and a hat for each kid in the diaper bag. And yes, winter makes things more complicated. You need more stuff. And then I always have water for Ivani, water for me, and a bottle for Fletcher with formula. And also snacks for Ivani. This is the rest of her breakfast. You saw me give her milk and a yogurt. Now she'll also eat cereal on the way. Yes, Fruit Loops, I know I'm a terrible mom, but this is how it is on days you just wanna get out the door. She eats her milk in a sippy cup and her cereal in a bottle. So, you know, it's like cereal and milk, why not? And then I always have to make sure I take my purse and cosmetic bag with me. So I'm gonna throw all this right into the diaper bag and then we gotta get out of here. First, I will strap Fletcher in his car seat and set him outside so he can get some fresh air and just look around. It amuses him for a couple minutes while I put Ivani's stuff in her car seat. She gets a cup of milk and cereal in a cup as well. 
Before I put them both in the car, we go take care of Rio, give her some food and water, and a little treat. Ready to go? You ready to go? And then after the kids are all buckled and strapped in, ready to go, I run back in the house, here I put my shoes on because I hadn't got the chance yet, and flicked off the million and one lights that I've forgotten to turn out. Guys, big houses are lots of work in little ways that you don't really think about. And then finally, by 8.30 or 9 o'clock, depending when we have to leave, I finally arrive in the car. Okay, ready to go. Now, I'm not gonna give a disclaimer about how no morning is exactly the same and blah, 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 because guess what? Honestly, when we have to get out the door, almost every morning is the same. We do the exact same steps over and over again. I figured out what works and I do the same thing every time we have to get out the door. It takes no thinking. It's just kind of on autopilot. I know what I need to do and out the door we go. You wanna go now? Okay, let mommy finish talking to her friends. So yeah, it's definitely, definitely nice to come up with a system. It makes things so much smoother. Figure out what works and then don't change it. Just keep doing that or you can, you can always tweak as you go. But yeah, almost every morning we have to get out the door, it looks right like this. So I hope this rushed morning routine was really helpful for you. Someday I'd like to do a real chill, relaxed morning routine that I have when we stay at home. So yeah, you can keep on a lookout for that. And while you watch um, just a few clips from our day at the orchard, I just wanted to use this time to say a humongous thank you guys for everything that you guys have done for me and um, for watching my videos, liking them, commenting. Some days I'll have a really down day with just the whole YouTube algorithm. You work so hard and it just feels like, you know, YouTube is burying your video or whatever. And then I'll read comments again and I'll be reminded why I'm doing this in the first place. I really appreciate that you invite me into your home every week. Um, yeah, it just means the world to me. But if I could ask one more favor, um, just make sure you have that all button pushed when you hit the bell button. Thank you so much for watching this video. Share it if you can think of somebody else who would like it as well. Somebody else who maybe has a busy life and has toddlers trying to get them out the door in the morning. Um, yeah, it would mean a lot to me and it might help somebody else out as well. If you'd like some more daily interaction with me, go ahead and follow me on Instagram. I like to post stories over there and some inspirational posts once in a while. Thank you so much for your time today. Go check out Care Up if you are looking around for some vitamins. Also go watch Hannah's video as well for some more ideas for the morning. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye guys.